Now, 25 years ago today, the BBC News Music was actually born after introducing the news every day around the world. The theme has gone viral on social media. <laughs> Well, it has gone viral, including that footage found on X of dancer Corville Cuffey dancing to the jingle in London's Leicester Square. Well, I'm delighted to say uh, the theme's composer, David Lowe, joins me live on the programme from his studio. David, great to have you on the programme. So 25 years ago, I mean, let's start. Can you believe it has been that long and it is still going? Hi, Matthew. Yes, well, um, it, it is totally amazing. I mean, when we did it, we sort of designed it you know, with the idea that it wouldn't just be a piece of music, it would be a brand, you know, it'd be a sound that just carried on as the BBC News sound. And that was the sort of, um, the reason, in a way, that was one of the, the, the parts of the brief that was very important. But, um, you know, I, I, 25 years ago, I, I don't think I would have imagined that it would still be running 25 years later. So it's absolutely fantastic. And I'm Still excited about it. I'm still updating it all the time with lovely Chris Cook from the BBC that you probably know very well. Um, and um, we, we're always looking at new ways of doing it and, and different um, varieties of it. So, yeah, it's, it's really brilliant. I'll come back to that final thought in a moment, but let's, let's rewind because it made me smile because I read that you said to our producer you were shortlisted for the interview, you got the job and the brief was completely different when you actually started. Uh, sounds incredibly familiar for someone inside the building. So take me through that, that sort of process, what you thought you were being hired for and then what it was like trying to actually pull it off. Well, um, the, it was an interesting process because what they wanted to do was not get me to all our, our composers that were pitching to come up with an idea straight away. It was a case of finding somebody they wanted to work with. And, very fortunately, I, I seem to have got the job. And um, but so the brief was very specific. It was about finding a completely different sound to anything that had been heard before on, on the BBC or, or indeed any news service globally to create a brand new sound and something uh, distinctive and memorable. And it had to have a, a very identifiable sound. It couldn't it could be music. It could be a sound effect or whatever that would as soon as you heard it, you'd know that that was the BBC News, no matter how many different ways it was used. And there are now thousands of different variations that I've done over the years for all BBC India, BBC Africa, BBC America, Scotland, Ireland, Wales, the English regions. They've all got their own particular sort of version yes. of it. But when you listen to it, you can still identify it as being the news. And that was a very important part of the brief. A, so, a, fi um, a final thought then. Why do you think... Hmm it works so well because you managed to integrate the pips which has great tradition so many different things that you've weaved into this did you know when you you finally composed all of it that it would actually succeed it, it did what you were tasked to do did you know it would work in a funny sort of way i, I didn't really it was one of those moments that i had the idea in my head on the way back from the meeting in fact on the train and i only had about a day or so to put an idea together to take it back to the BBC. And it wasn't about finding the idea straight away. It was about um, meeting the team, introducing me, saying, I'm going to be doing the music. So I had this idea buzzing in my head. And I thought, it, you know, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll try it. And so I just put it together, you know, and um, it seemed so it seemed, it seemed so good with the pips as the sound and, and the fact that it was accurate and reliable. And then we've got this sort of very strong uh, solid bass line, you know, with a depth. And so all, all the things that the music says are all the things that you want BBC News to say. So I put it together and, and I played it to them at the meeting and they just went, well, that's it, you've done it, you know. And so <laughs> it was one of those moments in life where, you know, that you think, ah, yeah, there we go. Well, listen, David, I wish we had longer, but congratulations, it is still going. And uh, just looking at the clock, we've only got about two and a half minutes till we play it again. So, uh, David Fantastic. Lowe, uh, thanks so much for talking to us live there from Oxfordshire. Well, I'm back with all the headlines here in just a moment or two.